from within. Hello people, you are on the news channel from the inside. Here you will see what you can not show and hide. Subscribe to know everything from inside. Putin told Chinese President Xi Jinping that he would like to meet him in Moscow in the spring. During the conversation, the president of the Russian Federation also stated that Russia and China will continue cooperation in the military technical sphere. Xi, in turn, said that China is ready to increase strategic cooperation. Debris of missiles, unfortunately, not yet Ukrainian ones, fell in Russia's Volgograd region. As they write, the incident happened yesterday in the first half of the day, before noon, exactly when the Russian military launched a massive missile attack on Ukraine. Russia returns an aircraft that guides missiles to targets from Belarus Skayan. This is the AF-50U Sergeyatayansk long-range radar detection aircraft. He was on the territory of Belarus since December 14. The Russian leadership decided to conduct a new wave of mobilization from January 5, 2023 due to high losses at the front, said the head of the main directorate of intelligence Budinov. Budinov did not say how many are being mobilized, but he noted that the system of Russian military commissars has slightly adapted to the significant increase in troops. The Russians, who killed the inhabitants of Mariupol by the thousands, officially accused Selesny of this, by the decision of the investigative committee. The bodies of more than 3,000 killed local residents were found in Mariupol. On the basis of this, the investigative committee opened a criminal case against the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine Valery Zelezny. The lessons of cynicism do not end there. Recall that recently a video appeared on the network where the military of the Russian Federation, without regret, tells how they demolished the city from the face of the earth. At all, it was a peaceful mess. The Bariat easily tells how he killed Mariupol residents by the thousands as part of the Russian army. Maybe you thought that scum had repented? No, he shouts, glory to Russia. Это в начале, это подожди, это в начале пытались заходить, пытались штурмовать, их там хуярили, и тогда думали, что в каждом доме, и тогда просто из мести начали хуя... хуярить каждый дом? Почастую, все хуярили. А, хуя... а то, что там люди сидят, то, что 100 тысяч людей мирных погибло, это всем похуй было? Это похуй было. А, хуярили. Это называется слава России, блядь. Охуенная слава, блядь, России. The missile potential of the enemy is decreasing, they cannot maintain such a high intensity, even though they try to use everything, representative of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense Yusuf. Commenting on the Russian missile attack on December 29th, he noted that the terrorist country used everything that can move against Ukraine, it launched Shahids and hit from S-300 anti-aircraft missile systems. Arms supplies to Ukraine will pave the shortest path to peace, Stoltenberg. The NATO Secretary General called on all partners to provide the armed forces of Ukraine with everything necessary. Does he consider it possible to supply medium-range missiles to Ukraine? Stoltenberg said that there is an ongoing dialogue between the allies on specific systems needed by Ukraine. News from within.